Hello, our cozy cottage, beautiful people. It is Queen V. How's everyone doing on this hot Tuesday evening? I'm not sure where you at. Maybe it's cool. Maybe it's feel like a perfect day. But here, it is hot. It is in been like in the mid 90s today. I'm just getting in from work, but stopped by a few stores early this morning and this afternoon when I got off of work. I have a couple small hauls, one from Aldi's and one from the Dollar General, and we're going to jump right into it so I can put the fruit in the refrigerator. I picked up some strawberries by Wish Forms, Generations of Sweetness. Let's see how this brand is. Got this from Aldi's. It was like a dollar, dollar, I think $79, dollar $79, something like that. And this was like a dollar $49 a pound, but I always try to find a nice bag full of it and just get the whole bag. Um, green seed scrapes by Horonis Vineyards. Let me see how these taste. Horonis Vineyards. This haul is from Aldi's. Okay. Put this in the refrigerator. picked up some cucumbers and three of them and y'all gotta see how big these things are i love cucumbers i think i'm gonna cut up some and put in vinegar tonight that'll be a nice snack but these are nice and big and smell good i picked up one avocado i have some in the refrigerator that i think i'm gonna cut up tonight and cook and I picked up some also celery celery is good for you guys also and um I've been craving it lately since I started buying it again and I picked up some more um the prices at all these are really good I think the cucumbers were like 69 cents something like that the avocado was 89 cents this was a dollar I'm not sure. Maybe a dollar uh, sixty-five, dollar something like that. And of course, I picked up a few tuna fish from Audis. Um, I left two cans at work, and I brought one can home. This was the solid white uh, albacore in water, tuna water in water. Um, Mm. yes and this is pretty good I really like this and this was like a dollar mm. it was a dollar some change it wasn't uh, like maybe a dollar nine dollar it was, it was a dollar some change um, the prices are so good and I put up with some gluten free Cheddar chips from Clancy's. I got the original. Y'all know that's one of my snacks I get from there. And y'all know this is my favorite snack from Aldi's. The White Cheddar Puffs by Simply Nature. They're gluten free. And these are so good. My favorite snack. So. I'll put them up later, but let me put the celery in the refrigerator. And I have something else to show you guys. I have something else to show you guys that I picked up from the Dollar General. Oh, and I got some. This is what I got from the Dollar General. I picked up a pack of Essential Prints. It's a um, nice size, six rolls. Uh, there was five dollars. Um. So, come with me. <laughs> I bought this in my great room. Uh, so, 
so I can sit down for a minute. I, I'm just hot and tired. And wait a minute. Let me put you. Okay. And I got this from the Dollar General. You know, I always go in my book section when I'm in the Dollar Tree in Dollar General. And three dollars is called the other. Yeah. It's um two women are watching each other. Phoebe Miller isn't sure when the rusty car started showing up in the ex exclusive cul-de-sac she calls home. Or why its driver would be spying on her. What could be interesting about an unhappy housewife who drowns her sorrows in ice cream and wine and barely leaves her house? Only one knows why. When a new family moves in across the street, the exuberant Vicky, who just might become the gossipy best friend Phoebe's always wanted, and her handsome college-bound son, Jake, who offers companionship of a different way, of a different variety. <laughs> Phoebe finds her dull routine infused with the excitement she's been missing, but with her head turned, she's no longer focused on the woman in the car. And she really should be. An addictive domestic thriller for fans of The Last Mrs. Parrish and the couple next door, the other Mrs. Miller, serves up a delicious brew of dark secrets and stunning plot choices that will keep you captivated until the very last page. So you know I had to pick it up. It sounds good. And I picked up this book here. It was only $3. It's called Goop Clean Beauty. $3. It said, Goop Clean Beauty explores the lifestyle we try to abide by at Goop, which is predicted on eating clean, getting good sleep, and making sure that everything else, adrenals, hormones, micronutrients, hydration mood is in balance. It's an entire system. Beauty from the inside out. You'll find a comprehensive survey of all things goop, from detox hacks to a chosen workout sessions, staff favorite recipes, vitamins and mineral vitamins and minerals that make hair shine, sauna practices, nighttime skin routines, and some simply hairstyles and makeup looks remodeled by some of goop's finest because what's the point in doing all the research and trying things out if you're not going to share what you learn with your friends Gwyneth Paltrow from the forward that's who it's by so I peeked through here and it looks really good I don't wear makeup so the makeup section don't interest me but everything else does and I looked inside and they have all these good looking recipes um of different foods, uh, recipes. I want to show you this one recipe uh, that I saw when I opened it, which really caught my eye. And it just talks about the different fruits and stuff good for you, minerals, vitamins, and all that. But it has a lot of good recipes of you know really good stuff that you can eat. And it's talking about. Cleaning your, cleansing yourself from the inside out, which is major. It really is. It's major. It make you feel good, and you you make your mood swings better. And it's it's um. Mm, let me show y'all. <laughs> right. Grilled salmon, avocado salad, two ways. Y'all know I love me some salmon. Oh my gosh. So, you know, and it, and it has the ingredients and everything on that side. But wait a minute. I'm trying to find. Oh, wait a minute. Let me find it. And it shows different exercises to do in here. Uh, wait a minute. Different fruits. and Okay, wait a minute. Let me find it, please. Let me find it. 
and I'm going to be stirring up some of these in, these uh, dishes. Oh, come on, Vana. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to find this one recipe that I want to show you guys because I am a pasta <sighs> favorite. I love pasta. And I should have put a bookmark in that. <laughs> Oh, come on. Um, okay. I can't find it, and I don't want to hold this video up so long. Oh, come on. Because it just have the section where the food... Oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> it's called steamed fish with dashi and soba noodles. Oh my gosh, you guys. This looks so good. I'm going to buy me those noodles. And of course, y'all know I love me some seafood because that's all really meat I eat. Every now and then I eat some turkey or uh, turkey wings or I will eat some... Um, uh, chicken wings every now and then if I want a, just a little bit more of meat protein in me besides seafood I add that to my my diet also um, I started adding that to my diet this year uh, before for the past few years it's just been seafood fruits vegetables and stuff like that so I'm definitely going to do the steamed fish with dashi and soba noodles so when I do that guys I'm going to show you guys the dish yes and it's a very nice book um so i picked that up it was only three dollars from the dollar general okay i'm going back to all these now <laughs> um i forgot i had picked up this crunchy granola whole grain oats and honey and almonds 31 grams of whole grain excellent source of fiber is by the Millville granola that's another big brand in Aldi's Millville and this looks so good because I put this in my like um yogurt plain yogurt or even if I have like a blueberry strawberry yogurt I still put the granola in it's so good with it um so and they actually have some gluten-free of this, but I didn't pick that up. They do have it. I didn't pick it up. I just got this because uh, it had the oats, honey, and almonds, and they didn't have the oats, honey, and almonds in the gluten-free, and I love oats, honey, and almonds. So I just picked it up, and it so it contains maybe a little wheat. It's, it's only a little. It's not going to hurt me. Um, I, it's not like I don't... I don't eat wheat anyway, so I don't get a lot in me. So, so got that from Aldi's, and so I found a place to get this because Food Line is is so much more expensive than Food Line. This was only two seventy nine. I think when I bought um, the granola that I think I showed you from Food Line that I got, it was like almost four dollars and. I said I won't do that again, but I just <laughs> needed some some uh, granolas for my yogurt at that time. But not again. That's when that was the week when I didn't feel like going a little further down to Aldi's. And Aldi's got a sale going on, and I probably go again later this week because I think they're putting more stuff on sale because they had cleared off one shelf with all the clothing and different stuff, and they were putting some stuff up, but. This was some stuff that was up there, and this was ladies' maxi dress that had for six dollars. Um, so I picked it up. I was like, "This looks nice and comfy. See how it looks? It looks nice and comfy." So it's only six dollars, and this was two dollars and seventy nine cents. It's another ladies' dress. It's kind of like a casual dress you just wear around the house and I love dresses like that because I am a comfort person I love comfort I just that's just me country girl comfort and that's what it looks like and it's by um, Sarah that's that's one of their 
main clothing brands that they um, that they carry. Um, so, yes, it was also Sarah for this one too. Two dollars seventy nine cents, and this was six. So, if you have an Aldi's in your area, in your area, check them out. But that is my quick haul from full Aldi's in uh, Dollar General. So I am going to get ready to cook me up something to eat. I don't know what I'm going to eat, but I'm hungry. But I'm ready to cook up something. So I'm going to get ready to close this video out and just tell you guys, I love you guys and never give up because God can deliver you from anything. And I hope you like my past videos that I, my last few videos that I posted on there, I um, posted my last two videos, it was like I was inside a thrift store and I had hit a button and cut the first one off, so it's two parts to it. So you guys check it out. It's a very nice thrift store. I will be going back, going back to it because at that time I was just in there, it was just unexpected i was in there with a friend who i took to pick his car up from the shop i took him to it that i took him to take his car to the shop that morning and then back pick it up that afternoon and he was like okay i know a place um where it's a good food i want to buy you um some dinner um i'm gonna pick up some dinner you know and go um and it just happened this place that we went to just happened to be inside this thrift shop and this thrift shop is huge and it's it's so nice it's one of the cleanest thrift shops I've ever been in it's so organized it looks like you're in a, a store I mean a clothing store a clothing department store where they have different sets set up and check out the video I, I it's no need me sitting on here trying to explain and take up this video because I'm 17 minutes in and I didn't mean to be this long. So check out the last two videos, guys. I love you. Never, never give up. God can deliver you from anything. Love you guys.